25 years. That's it. That's it. Uh, fucking cancer slug. You guys just played here in Seattle. Woo. And sweaty as fuck now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was hot in there, son. God damn. It's like, it's funny because we were talking about how, like, oh, man, uh, we better bring some warm stuff because it's probably going to be chilly when we get up there and everything. Like, we're like, oh, God. And then, like, it's like the hottest place we've been yet. Like, oh, God, we're, like, dying up there. Uh, that's actually true because we were, like, in the 70s or some shit yeah. today. And then, like, you know, last week we were in the 60s. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, what the hell's going on here? Woo. Um, but let me go with Jade to make go sure I get, I get some stuff in here. So, Jade, how many years have you been in the band? Uh, about four and a half or something like that. Four and a half, yeah. okay. So what does 25 years mean to you since you came in you know, four and a half years uh, ago? I'm just trying to really just honor every era of it, you know, but bring my own thing into it, but like just just make sure that all of it's, you know, played and just like sounds the way it always did, I guess. I just like, I just want everything to be, uh, I don't know, respected out there and everything. So just trying to go harder. Everybody all right. Just, Remind us how old we are all the time. <laughs> <laughs> definitely do and of the like the songs you play tonight, are there certain songs in the set that you're like, man, I can't wait to play that one on the drums? Greed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just start playing that one. I've always loved that one. So yeah. Um, really all of them though. It's fun. It's so fun to play with them. Okay. And refresh my memory, how did you come to know the band before you joined them? We just all live close and uh, obviously like music and it was just it, it happened, we just connected through people, so I'm glad. Okay, well, and I think I've told you this before, but your drum style fits the band so well. I mean, there's no mistaking that your style of drumming just fits right in there. Thank you. Yeah, because you can, being a musician myself every now and then, you might get someone who can play a certain type of drums, but that don't mean it fits Cancer Slug. So, yeah, this having this trio here, plus our friend over here who I met today. <laughs> but that was great. And then Cassie, has it been 15? No, 15 years? How many 17. years? 17? Yeah. 17. Okay. She was a wee thing. She joined, <laughs> she joined Cancer Slug when I was 21. I was still old then, too. <laughs> you always been up now. I've still. always been old. <laughs> I'm ancient. No, no, no. I joined when I was 21 and never looked back. Okay, so th when you joined when you were 21, did you ever think you would be doing this in 2024? I didn't know if I'd be alive, but <laughs> I was happy that I am. Yeah. Uh, well, we're all happy that you're here. Um, and I'm kind of curious too because you have a birthday coming up pretty soon. I sure do. It's like oh, a few days. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, she reminds us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so for the fans that see this, they're like maybe in Portland or, or Boise or California. Anything you're looking for from your birthday that oh, they could bring to the show? I love everything. Yeah, glasses. No, I, I got glasses. Yeah, I, I'm just. I want them to come out to the shows. That'll be good. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a good birthday present. Yeah, come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and since you've played in many different lineups, you know, there'll be three, four, five, do you have a preference of how many members you like playing with? I like this. I like, you like the trio. Yeah. It's, it's raw, real. It's like, it's... it's, it's, like, it's, the, it's, it's they, they all have a, a weird vibe. But they like all the, have a cool... The, the three-piece, it's like, it's completely unique because it's like, you really lock into each other. Like, like so it's like, you know, it's like, you know when you're driving the car, and you really get to like a car that's really yours and you really know it and like even when you drive over like a, a pebble or something you can feel it in your foot like it's like your shoe or something you, know, you, you, you just like it, that's how it's like we all lock in we, can, we, we know what everybody's doing you know you feel it. yeah 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 it's just and, one unit all right and cassie i would be remiss if i didn't ask about the uh either the shove or the push that happened on this tour that everyone keeps talking about. Can you kind of explain what happened with that drunk fan or whatever the hell he was doing? People, like, um, they want to come and, like, be a part of the show and sometimes in, a, in the wrong way. And if you come on stage or if you try to disrupt the show in any way, we will, like, we will, like, let you know that it's, it's our stage. It's, like... And it's people, like if you want to be part of the show, we'll make you part of the yeah, show. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but uh, like, no, like it's, it's like I never understood that whole like it's like the people that go to see a comedy show or something, and they got all of a sudden they want to like you know put uh, you know they they think I'm a funny guy you know or whatever like and it's like you pay to get in and then you go and just heckle this guy, you know it's like trying to do his job, trying to like do it, do the best to like make people laugh. It's the same kind of thing, you know. Like we're trying to make some have fun, you know, like like. And there's always somebody that like you know really can't handle their booze or can't handle you know it's like it's like you know the baby's first beer or something and like 
And, 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 and what's sad is it's always like somebody that should know better. It's always some, like, some, some older guy or some like, you know, it's like somebody that should damn well know better. And then like, you know, it, it, the kids are there having fun and everything. And this, this old dude's always acting up, you know, it's that kind of thing. If you, if you try to like suck a punch too, like when someone's yeah. back's turned, it's like, where the fuck you up? That's the thing, it's always like, like when my back's turned, my back, you know, it's like I, I've had my nose broke like a dozen times. Like I've had like, you know, like hit with pipes and stuff, had like teeth knocked out and stuff. And, and it's always like, 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 like me turning around going, do what? And like, it's, like, like it's, it's never like, you know, like. Straight in your pit, yeah. yeah. It's like, we're gonna fuck you up if you try to fuck up the show. But yeah, yeah. We wanna but have fun. It's like, that's it's like, like back in the day when we started, it was like, like, we played at the skate park a, part a lot, and on the other side of it, it was like this like skinhead type house, or whatever you know, and like uh, like you know it's like fuck those guys, but like but like they would come over and throw shit over, and, you know, and it always at the end of every like night, dude, it, it would just like be this like brawl, like you're like Captain America fighting the Nazis or something, like you know, and like uh, so it's just like I don't know, like like but then my buddy Mike. You know, he passed away, but like, 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 like our, 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 our drug, he body cancer slug, and he was just a total take no shit guy. You know, he, he was like, like half the time I, before I even knew what was going on, like somebody would start stuff with me, and I just see his big fist come over and just like, yeah. and like, and like, he always had my back and everything. So you know, it's like now, 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 now Cassie's picking it up. Like, like, I, I, didn't, I had my back turned to that guy, and he's coming up on stage, and like, I didn't even see any of it. Like by the time I turned around, she'd already chucked him <laughs> off into the the crowd. My boy Joey is helping us. Uh, loading his stuff and playing some songs and whatnot like uh like he grabbed him in the old headlock and took him on out and uh i don't know that's about it what's funny is it was the same guy that got kicked out here last time we <laughs> yeah. was here it was oh, the exact really? same guy yeah. and i thought he was a homeless guy like out by our van because he was just sitting there like crying or something with his stuff all that he looked homeless so i gave him like 20 bucks and a bottle and jack. Of jack i thought he was like a homeless guy and then like he was like oh and blah, 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 something i was like Goddamn, dude! Like, fucking, like, I don't know. It's just like, trying to help this dude out. Like, I, I remember that dude. Yeah. I remember him in the slug cult too on Facebook. Yeah. And like, 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 weirdo. Like, <laughs> whatever. It takes all times, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And when I first saw that clip, I thought you hit him with your base. Yeah. Uh, it was. It looked. It was. Yeah. It was just quick, <laughs> but it was like. Was gonna but but yeah, you know I appreciate she she always like it's like we've always had each other's back and everything like uh, and Mike always had our back and like everything like we've always been it's been like a family you know and that's like that's what the, the thing with cancer slug is always just it's like i don't care so much about musicians like the quote unquote, i mean i don't i'm not a musician I, you know, I, I i taught myself how to do everything i don't know tuning and all that whatnot you know it's like somebody called me once the, the king of the out-of-tune guitar and, uh, you know whatever but like uh but you know it's just me and my friends having fun and you know maybe making some people laugh maybe pissing some people off like it's like but it's just you know we're just Goofing off and have fun, and we've been doing it for 25 years, and it's still fun. So yeah, yeah. There you go. As long as you're having fun. Even when I was playing and music in a duo around town, I was like telling my singer she gets super nervous. Yeah, yeah. I said, are we having fun or not? If we're having it. fun, then it's that's cool. It. it doesn't matter how many people are there. Five people, 500 people. Yeah. Said, are you having a good time? Then that's why I'm here. Um, and to kind of wrap this up, Alex, I know you've got a new album coming out next year, but you've already put out some books uh, oh, yeah, that yeah, you can yeah. buy now. So kind of just talk yeah, about like, that. Well, it's like. Uh, we're, we're planning on, like, I got behind. I wanted to get some stuff out before we left for tour, but it's just like sometimes, you know, it's, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you're, when your eyes are too big for you, bigger than your stomach or something, you know, you get a bunch of food and you can't eat. But like, I had, I just, I, I got too many projects going at once, and then I like didn't finish nothing. Like, like I, I worked on the third Doyle album, and it's fucking awesome. It's like, we got like, just, it's better, it's the best one of the three, but like, I, I, oh, ah, I didn't even finish with what I was working on on that. And then like, I, I was trying to like, get this new concept we had where we were doing this, this album and then these two kind of like grimoires that were they were kind of like uh like like the old school like uh like chap books from back in like the medieval times and stuff but like but like ciphers and like like kind of hidden stuff like uh, uh where you can kind of so the album the two books they kind of work together you can kind of figure out some little codes and some little secrets in there it's kind of just something fun for people to play around with and then like uh beyond that it's like uh I had some leftover kind of like little stories and different things and concepts that I just assembled into a book, uh, kind of like called Red Play, and just to go, just just have the extra stuff out. And then uh, people were asking me about the first book I ever wrote, which I released a long time ago, but I, I it's not been available like since people kind of start getting into cancer and stuff. But uh, 
So I went ahead and put that out, which nobody knows about. Like I just put it out and didn't tell nobody. But it's uh, it's called Rats, and it's on uh, oh, yeah. wherever you buy books or whatever. But like, uh, <laughs> but you, you don't look under Alex Story. Look under Alex Maurice Story. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, it's a secret. It's okay. a secret. <laughs> but uh, for there, yeah, that's an exclusive. And, uh, and 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 also I'm uh, I've been working on an album, like a solo album, that's uh, basically like the soundtrack to. Uh, the novel Blood Meridian. It's like a weird, fucked up Western book. Our, our, our album. It's like a weird. Uh, it's just a concept. It's beautiful. I really started out. I just wanted to hear what heavy metal banjo sounded like, and I was not disappointed. So I just ended up growing into this whole Western album, and then it just became this Blood Meridian concept album. Like, oh, that's awesome. I feel a lot of stuff coming. Yeah, this is yeah. pretty awesome. We'll probably tour again. This spring. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. We'll work on it. That sounds intense. Yeah. And then Cassie, before we wrap up, um, talking shit, still doing gigs? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to come get tattooed by me, just hit me up. I tattoo in Princeville, Alabama. What's the shop called? New Moon Tattoo. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade, anything you want to plug? Uh, no, just come to the rest of the store. Yeah. And, uh, She's you know, broke. She's broke. I mean, she's, got, she's got like 20 hooligans living in her place. She's got to kick out. We're going to kick them out when we get home. I don't want to but have like, to but, that but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send yeah. her some cash app or something or some payment. Yeah. Like, like her little broke ass. She got to pay for her fucking yeah. car, her car payment. Bring the, bring the hot girls for Jay's. Yeah. Yeah. There we yeah. go. We, we, we made her lose her welding job by like playing <laughs> shitty rock and roll. Like, <laughs> so, so now she's, she's, she's in the poorhouse. So, so somebody send her some cash. Uh-huh. What's your cash at? There we go. J B J three. J B J. Oh, you dropped the ball. I set you up and you dropped the ball. I don't remember what it was. Oh. <laughs> New moon tattoo. Yeah, this dude. Dick solid at PayPal. There you Dick go. solid at Cash App. Anything like that. It'll, cool. it'll all find its way to us. <laughs> <laughs> I want. All right. Slug call you. rise. Thank oh, you so much. You. Behind the scenes. Thank you. Family. Hey, whoops. Yes.